Curtis Guthrie. It's often places with goal scorer Luke Rogers in, in the wall. Miller delivers a great ball in. It's, he's gone all the way through. No, it's come off Tom Webb. Tom Webb, now he doesn't score a lot, but when he does, they are big, big goals, and that is a big goal right there. Here's Harry Williams, does really well. What can he do here? Williams, unlucky. Hall, no, it's in. Eventually, the ball finds its way into the back of the net, and I believe Lewis Hall's completed his hat trick. Well, Tim, uh, back to Warren Road, and uh, another win uh, for the club. That's four in five now. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely delighted for the fans. Um, you know, we've struggled, as everyone knows, to score goals at home and, and to uh, end up winning the game 3 0. It was a. Here is Hopper again. It's been crucial in the middle, and it's a good ball for Hanks. Takes around the keeper. Joe uh, scores. Lewis Hall, rather. Well, Rob, three points and a good performance. You must be delighted with that. Yeah, very happy with that. Good result. Not a man of the match performance for yourself. Is that. The personal individual goals that you're achieving in your loan spell here? Um, yeah, it is. Obviously, I've, I think I've been doing well since I've been here. And, um <laughs> at the uh, World of Smart Stadium, so we're here at uh, Chewy's Salon in, in Quedgley. Yeah. Um, talk to me about your, your new business venture with your partner, Lisa. Yeah, um, obviously, I met my partner a few years ago, and uh, she's a fantastic hairdresser. Foster, so um, the opportunity arose for us to invest in some, some. It's going to be a real high quality race, and you know, the whole thing, you know, if you look two Charlton and Harry's, make that fine. Yeah. Um, I'm a kickboxing instructor um, and also teach karate here at MSD Evolution in uh, Bishop's Cleeve. I still hear your voice when you sleep next to me. I still feel your touch in my dream. Forgive me my weakness, but I. sense of pride. This is our town. And add to the local derby is first for a second. You know, it's a 
passionate crowd. I would have thought that um, it would be a, a very good atmosphere, hopefully, and um, you know we can uh, get the fans singing. It was a good entertaining game for the neutral, it was a great atmosphere, we took a lot, you know, we took 800, so, or over 800 I think, so it was, uh, it was a great uh, night and uh, hopefully we can replicate that at, at our place. Yeah, I think, yeah. it to Bob, gets it back to Moose, Moose lines up a strike and curls it, and it's a great finish by, by Moose there. A great bit of build up play from Chelder there. Picked it up 20 yards out and curled it past the helpless Glennon. Great finish. If we can get that rocking and bring back that Robin rocking, that would be fantastic. And I promise you, it will go a long way to helping us stay top of the league. Good morning and welcome to another exciting episode of Between the Posts, the show that gives you an insight into the world of Rugby League. Today I'm joined by James Tatwila and Aidan Jenkins, who are first team players of the Gloucestershire All Gold. Good afternoon and welcome to the third and final recital for our Horns Calling programmes. Um, gosh, it's been a lot of work getting these three concerts together. Um, and today we present... gentlemen don't only just turn upon a Sunday to play these games, there's a lot of preparation that's involved as we went to have a look.
welcome to the University of Gloucestershire, uh, to all of you here in the audience at the Park Campus, and to those of you at home watching us live on broadband. In a few moments, we'll be meeting our special guest for this evening, the Gloucestershire chef and University of Gloucestershire hon honorary doctor, Tom Kerridge. Tom was brought up in Gloucestershire and he spent his early career working at country house hotels and restaurants across the county. Before moving to London in his early 20s and working with a host of chefs including Gary Rhodes. He and his wife Beth set up the Hand in Flowers pub in Marlow in 2005 and that has since gone on to get two Michelin stars. It's the only pub in the world with two Michelin stars. Tom is a prolific writer. His third book, Tom's Table, is coming out later on this year. A huge welcome, please, for Tom Kerridge. We've just been watching you making giant fish fingers. Very uh, impressive. Pig's head, wasn't it? Yeah. Pig's head. Fantastic. Yeah. OK, we're going to start off with um, Bake Off. That's pretty exciting. Good evening and welcome to the University of Gloucestershire's EU referendum debate. To the audience here at the Park Campus in Cheltenham, to those of you at home watching by live video stream and via Tone Radio. <laughs> Forty days from today, we will all be deciding whether or not we want to remain in the EU or to leave. It's the most important public vote we've had for decades, so it's really, really important that everybody takes part. What we want to do this evening is to encourage everybody to vote and also to provide you with all the information that you need to decide which way you're going to vote. We've been joined by a panel of academics, business people, students... To excel in sport demands physical strength, stamina, passion and toughness, but with the ability to take knocks. So, a man's world? Not necessarily. Him Arby, the sloppy Arby, my open mouth. But I've never been one to stay silent, but I've been talking. How is prejudice viewed in the sporting world? So there's lots of clubs. One club in particular in London, a really good club, wouldn't even accept girls. I think in July I boxed on a show and it was the first time a girl had ever represented that club. So the fact that some clubs won't even have girls in for training, there's different rules for girls, so we have to wear head guards, boys don't have to wear head guards. Um, I, but it's gradually changing, it's changing every season, so... Like you're representing something that's important it's to you? It's all about just getting your jersey on your back. Everyone wants to play, especially when you get a, high, a lot of people in the team. Yeah. You just want to be a part of the seven team you go on the field. Brilliant. Well, thank you for joining me, gentlemen. Thank that's all we've got us. time for today, I'm afraid. Stay tuned on our social networks to see which players we have next week. I'm Danielle, and you've been watching Between the Posts.